Greetings, YouTube. Brian Matejka um, of Canada decided to celebrate his 30th birthday at a country music concert. Unfortunately, he chose the concert being held in Las Vegas the day a gunman decided that he was going to kill 58 people and wound over 500. Fortunately, Brian Matejka was one of the people that was wounded and not killed, even though he took a bullet to the back of the head. That's bad enough. You're on vacation. You're celebrating your birthday. Someone shoots you in the back of the head. But then, the homosexuals rose up like some great wave of vile, toxic hatred and began to harass him, giving him threats of violence and death, claiming that he was a crisis actor claiming that he's part of a government conspiracy, just the way they did when children were gunned down in New England, claiming that these people were not actually harmed in, in Las Vegas, and they are all part of a conspiracy to push gun control. These homosexuals are monstrous. These people are seriously imbalanced. They love their guns so much, they will deny reality that one of their own executed 58 people and wounded over 500 from the 32nd floor of a hotel. Now, I have heard people in this discussion tell me that, well, you're going to ban trucks and you're going to ban knives next. Well, when trucks and knives can kill 58 people and wound 500 at a range of 1,200 feet, I will then open up the discussion for banning trucks and knives. But they can't do that. And yet, when someone used a truck to kill eight people, a horrendous act in and of itself, those same homosexuals rose up and said, Ban all the Muslims! But 58 dead and 500 wounded, oh well, don't politicize that. 26 dead in the church, well, don't politicize that. You're not politicizing it because we know that there are ways to stop that. And one of the ways we can move toward that is banning the sale production, import, and export of semi-automatic firearms. Flat out, stop selling them. Start buyback options. Reduce the number of firearms on the streets and get them out of the hands of angry white dudes who seem more than willing to gun people down because they are mentally imbalanced, or unhappy, or angry. And before anyone says that it's mental illness, the percentage of people with mental illness who commit violent crime, 4%, 4% of violent crimes are committed by people with mental illness. Whereas if you have a mental illness, you are 10 times more likely than the average person to suffer a violent act. So don't blame it on mental illness, which of course is the only time the GOP will discuss mental illness is after one of their homosexual supporters guns down a whole bunch of Americans. Other than that, they're silent on the subject. Their level of disingenuousness is unbelievable. Even my cat thinks it's bullshit. So, maybe if the homosexuals would stop harassing the victims of their own, the ones created by fellow homosexuals, we could move things towards some healthier resolutions. But nope, they're just going to harass a guy that was shot in the back of the head, because that is 
easier than facing the reality that people like them are violent.